Hey guys, before we start this video, I just want to let you guys know that this video is dedicated to one of my lucky Patreons who I'm very happy to have uh, supporting me and who also happens to be a very close friend of mine, uh, which is Randula. Randula, this video is dedicated to you and I'm, I really appreciate the support. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Across the Nation. And today, we're going to be going over the HD Riku Replica Medal for today's medal analysis video. In case you don't know already, you haven't been to my channel so far, I already have most of the medals that come out in these new banners on my website at khuxnation.com. But at the very least, you can check out HD Riku Replica here on the website. In case you're watching this from some time in the future, uh, you can go ahead and click on the Metal Analysis tab, go to Tier 8, and he'll be there for you to go and click on and look at. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at his Metal Analysis. HD Riku Replica is a power reverse Tier 8 metal single target. Uh, questionable, questionable, questionable. Okay, his ability. Unleashes the same special attack as the same previous metal. Works only when set after a metal. So basically, <laughs> it's a copy metal. It's literally just a reverse version of Key Art Sky. For those of you that have been watching my channel for quite a long time, you guys already know that I'm a very, very hard advocate towards copy metals. Okay, copy metals are by far the best metals in the game. If you have, if you can try and get a copy metal of every single type of attribute, so when I say attribute, I don't mean just a power one and a speed and magic and you're good. I mean like you need both a power upright and power reverse, okay, of the same copy metal. For copy metals, there's always copy metals that copy backwards and copy forwards. The ones that copy forwards are ones like HD Nominee, Antiform Sora. HD Vanitas, okay? These are the ones that are considered copying forward because the copy metal gets used first before the actual original metal itself, okay? that That's what's copying forward. Um, I know when I was first learning that terminology, people, I was kind of confused as like, well, which one's forward, which one's backwards, okay? That's how you know, okay? And the ones that copy backwards are the key art copy metals, including HD Riku Replica now, the ones that get used after the original metal has already been used. Those are the ones that copied backwards. So if you can try to get one of each attribute of both types of metals, both the forward and backwards copy, uh, copy metals, that is the ideal right there, okay? And HD Riku Replica right now helps us achieve something in the game um, that we kind of somewhat been low-key struggling with, whether you've realized it or not. And that simply comes down to making uh, certain keyblades a little bit more viable and more versatile to use, okay? So as of right now, there currently exists 15 keyblades in the game. But out of those 15 keyblades, eight of them have a POW reverse slot on their keyblade and, and one of their slots, all right? Um, and that's more than half of the currently existing keyblades in the game. So that's actually a pretty big chunk of keyblades that you can actually potentially use the HD Riku replica metal on if needed, okay? And like I said before, it completely depends on whether or not you actually have the Kyrie Shion EX metal that will determine which of these keyblades you actually use it on. Now, let's say you you have the Kyrie and Shion EX metals, okay? In that case, the 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 list of keyblades that are viable for you to use actually goes down to five which are the ones shown on here on screen which would be treasure trove fenrir stroke of midnight fairy stars and dark Gnaw. and the main reason behind that is because of the fact that they have a power reverse slot in their slot four or or after okay uh, and i'll explain that in a sec okay the three keyblades that i do not have listed on this list are gonna be the starlight the Olympia and the Mughal Glory. All right. And the main reason I say this is because of the fact, well, here, take a look at this real quick. Okay. Think about it. If you have Kairi Shion EX, you're most likely going to have Kairi Shion EX with a copy metal copying it right here in the first two slots. Okay. We're looking at the starlight right now. So you're going to have those first two slots here. In most cases, after that, you don't want to copy Kairi Shion EX again using an extra slot. So basically what I'm trying to say is you don't want to consume an, another slot to copy Kyrie Shoni X again. The most you want, ever want to do to use Kyrie Shoni X a third time is only if your copy metal that you're originally copying them with 
has extra attack. That's the only reason why, uh, why that should happen, all right? Otherwise, you don't want to consume another slot, typically, to copy them, all right? So basically, don't use the third slot to copy them, all right? And that's why the Starlight and Moogle Glory kind of like fall short a little bit because of the fact that their power reverse slot ends up being in slot three, in which case uh, the Riku Replica meta ends up not being as great uh, for those type of setups. However, however, if you're using the Z Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Kyrie instead, it actually ends up working out a lot better. And that's because of the fact that the 0.2 Kyrie medal is always going to go in the first slot. And then you're going to have some type of either attribute, buffer, or buffer, debuffer right there in the second slot. And then your Riku Replica medal can go ahead and copy that to help buff it even further. Okay. And a good example of this, like for the Starlight, for example, would be the new HD Zack medal that we just got. You can put the 0.2 Kyrie in the first slot, HD Zack in the second slot for the speed buffs. That he provides he provides a speed strength of plus four as well as an upright strength buff and an upright defense debuff as well as a general defense debuff too so he's helping out in like almost every area except an attribute debuff okay so he's helping us with that and then that by putting the ht riku replica in the third slot now at this point okay since our riku replica is copying ht zack over here we now have our plus seven speed attribute strength okay we have plus two upright buffs all right we have minus three general defense down and we still have our plus six general strength as well all right so by this point in time by our third slot we've already done a lot of our buffs which is fantastic okay and then your fourth and fifth slot can start focusing on like the uh on finishing off the general defense down debuffs and start focusing on the attribute debuffs as well or vice versa depending on how strong your your opponent is that's what i'm trying to point out with like these type of keyblades with like starlight uh, olympia Murugori. olympia almost doesn't count really because olympia is like almost like one of the only keyblades that like you're only going to put ht riku replica in the second slot if you have kairi shioni x okay because then in that case uh, you're going to put Kairi Shoni X in the first slot, then Riku Replica to point there to copy the first slot, okay? You're not going to put any other metal to copy them in that slot. So it's like, it's... Olympia's weird, alright? But yeah, like the same type of thing as St Starlight affects the Mughal Glory. So that's something to consider. And that's the whole reason why they're not listed on my article because they, they, they're they very iffy. If you guys are able to get the HD Riku Replica medal, I highly recommend you try and get it as much as possible. Copy medals are by far one of the best medals in the game, and investing in copy medals alone can carry you a lot farther into the game than any other type of medal will, especially since copy medals are feature proof, which means that no matter how far into the game you get, you will still always be able to use this medal. Okay? And that's primarily, for those of you that are new to the game, that's primarily because of the fact that. The game changes really fast. Like the meta changes really fast. So literally, you could have one uh, one setup that is OP one week end up being mediocre the next month. Okay, that's how fast uh, these setups and medals end up changing. Okay, and copy medals are pretty much almost like an exception to that. They're not affected by this nearly as much. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button down below. It is the best way to know when I upload new videos such as this one. Other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.